So in the last video, we compared self-love with narcissism. And here, I want to cover another misconception that narcissists are equal to psychopaths. Uh, so narcissists are not psychopaths, um, and they are also not usually sociopaths. They're a little bit different. So technically, psychopaths have no link to any specific diagnosis or mental health condition, at least in the current DSM. And for anyone who's unfamiliar with that, uh, that is the diagnosis manual used by psychologists. Uh, so it's a very informal term. Sociopathy, also used kind of informally, uh, is actually used to describe antisocial personality disorder, which is a real of official diagnosis. Um, you'll, al you'll often hear these used interchangeably, uh, but for the most part, psychopath is considered kind of informally as more extreme behavior, uh, like think serial killer. Um, in reality, they can both be kind of extreme in behavior. So narcissism is another officially recognized diagnosis called NPD or Narcissistic Personality Disorder. Uh, and again, there is overlap between these three terms. Uh, so probably the easiest way to uh, conceptualize this is looking at uh, what drives the person to behave the way they do, especially comparing narcissism with the other two. So, whereas sociopaths aren't necessarily worried about their image or being at the top of some social hierarchy, uh, this is basically the narcissist's entire world. Uh, so they can be very Manip manipulative, um, but they may not have so much of a tendency towards violence um, as psychopaths and sociopaths do. Uh, so probably the best way to spot a narcissist is if you are in a conversation and the topic is pretty much all about them and kind of redirected to them immediately, how great they are, things like that. Um, so that would be a narcissist, and psychopaths and sociopaths are more likely to take an interest in you because they want to know what they can gain from you.